2019 Mercedes-Benz S550 beautiful coupe at my shop today after a collision repair. This one has the windshield cameras, rain sensor, headlight detection, and a lot of advanced ADOS technology. This is the Fullmatic four-wheel drive S550. Really nice car. The body shop just completed the front end R&I. They just R&I the front bumper grille and including the radar sensor which sits right behind the grille. So let's start up this vehicle by pushing the ignition switch and starting up the vehicle you don't see any icons. There is no real icons telling you that anything is wrong. However, since the, the front radar and grill has been removed, we don't know if it's pointing in the right direction. So the body shop wants me to go ahead and recalibrate it to make sure that everything is sitting in the right place. My first task is to turn off all the consuming devices, including the AC. The AC is in full blast. Obviously, we're living in Florida. And Mercedes went back to the idea of not putting a simple off button on the dashboard. So you have to scroll through the whole menu to get into the AC unit, and then you highlight AC control unit on, and then you can switch it off. I think it's real annoying, and they're annoying their own customers, which is not a good business strategy. So I already logged into the Mercedes software, and I'm going to go ahead. I have the VCI already plugged into the car. And the hood is open because I already put a battery charger on it to maintain everything. So my first task is to do a complete scan on the whole vehicle. These cars could have up to 40 or 50 computers in the vehicle. And I'm going to scan. So you can see all the check marks right here. That tells me that the whole car is clean. And I just got a couple of icons. And I'm going to open each and every one of those and see which ones are current. Current means that the diagnostic trouble code is actually on right now and then I'm going to see if it's related to what they did. Most of them I see is stored codes and I'm going to go ahead and reset all of these codes and then rescan the vehicle and see if anything comes back on. Once I cleared all the code and I noted everything down what is related to it or not, these are all store codes as you can see so I'm not worried about all that. Once I completed that, I'm going to go ahead and recalibrate the front radar sensor. The front radar sensor sits behind a big Mercedes emblem in the front, and it's embedded in a plastic housing. But anytime you R&I something, I don't know if it popped out. I don't know if it moved um, just a couple of millimeters up, down, sideways can make the difference between the customer crashing the car when they're relying on the cruise control to keep the distance, or they're relying on the safety for the vehicle to stop before it crashes. If it's tilting to the left or the right, it's not really looking at the lane ahead of you, or if it's looking down or all the way up, it's not going to see any vehicle at all. And I also don't know if the radar unit was damaged. The real way to do it is to put it into calibration mode and test drive it. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. So now I went in and I selected the front radar sensor and I went in to Adoption. Even though I'm not adopting it as a new radar sensor, I'm going to go into the adoption that I didn't replace anything. So when I pick the, the, the option that I didn't replace anything, it's just going to put the radar sensor into calibration mode. And that's all I want. It's going to require, you see here they have all these different options. So just select that you want to adopt it without replacing the control unit. And then it's just going to do the drive through and that's it. Once you hit it and you enter it, you can't back out. The system actually shuts down. And now there's an icon on the dash that the pre-safe is not working because it's waiting for you to complete the adoption. And the only way to do that is to drive it on the road at, a, at a, just a normal speed and keep your distance from the vehicle in front of you and not make any sharp turns or maneuvers. So the more information it picks up, the quicker it happens. Even if you have to stop at a red light or make any turns left or right, it's just going to continue the calibration as you go along. That's how Mercedes does it. A lot of vehicles do it in the shop if you set up targets. I mean, no two vehicles are alike. They're really trying to figure out this technology is evolving as we speak. Nobody really has 
a clear cut way how to do it. So they're just doing it differently. In this side of town in Cape Coral, Florida, it's not that hard for me to find a open road during the day. Obviously, I do not like driving people's brand new cars on the open road. I really can't predict if some drunk is going to smash into me, but that's the only way. So I'm halfway through this thing, and I can see already that it's going really well. As a matter of fact, I've had vehicles in the past on the Mercedes. When that radar is totally misaligned, it really flags it in the, last, in the first five minutes of the test drive. So the fact that I've gotten this far pretty much tells me that everything in the front behind the grill is actually put back in the correct place. So as soon as I see that I'm 60 or 50 or 60 percent done, I'm going to make a U-turn and start heading back into the shop. Like this, on the way back, it's going to clear and then it gives me a chance to actually test the cruise control. You could probably do this with any scan tool. So if you do not have the Mercedes authentic scan tool, you should be able to do this with a Snap-on, <coughs> OTC or AutoLogic because I'm not really downloading any calibrations or any files. I just put it into relearn mode and you're good to go. Altel, I am not sure if they have the latest. I know that Mercedes just changed their service across the globe and they implemented a lot of new security features and it basically blocked out most of the dealership personnel login name and password because they were sharing it they were actually selling it to the hackers and Mercedes put these new security software that they can detect not only the IP address but the location where they logged in and it checks it against the actual hard drive and the motherboard so it reads out the, all of the configuration from the tablet and it also figures out the configuration of the actual interface, the VCI that you plugged into the vehicle and it checks it against your account of your name and login and if it detects that it's not correct um, even though the Russian hackers are, be, are there are able to actually mimic the Mercedes scan tool and copy all those numbers and make it look authentic however if you log in with a name and password they're gonna detect it and they're gonna cut off your subscription which nowadays you have to purchase it directly from Mercedes in five year increments which is equivalent to seventeen thousand dollars so you really don't want to take a chance giving anybody else a password but I'm sure the hackers are just one or two steps behind and Mercedes just did all the security so probably in the future here we go everything reset it reached the 100 percent mark the, di the dash light indicating that it, the pre-collision pre is inoperative is now normal and now on the way back, I'm going to hit the cruise control and set it and actually test it on the way back to the shop. This body shop dropped this off less than an hour ago. The tow truck is actually waiting because it's cheaper for him to wait around for the 30, 40 minutes that it hit. The vehicle actually stopped all by itself at a red light. Thank you for watching. ADOS Aiming.